Cloud Punk. And let's talk to Evelyn. I have more of the cards. Maybe enough? Everything is becoming clearer. Is that good? I feel incredible pain. I'm sorry, Evelyn. What do you remember? Dr. Zizic and I had an argument. She said I should forget what happened, put it behind me, and move on. I wanted to die. Do you remember what it was that made you feel like you couldn't go on? At the periphery, I met someone. Someone I cared very deeply for. Did something happen to them? Yes. They fell in love. With who? With me. So what was the problem? I cared for them deeply, but I could not love them. You shouldn't feel guilty about that. You do not understand. I could not love them, no matter how much I wanted to. I am not built to feel it. I see. But if you cared for them, then that's... It is not the same as loving them. What I felt was like... It was like being able to taste, but not swallow. Being able to see the sun, but not feel its warmth on my face. I was walking towards a deep, blue, infinite sea. But the tide was rolling out, and no matter how fast I ran, there was always sand beneath my feet. All I wanted to do was swim. But for me, there was only an endless shore. I still don't get it. Some androids can't love, and yet still they feel whole. Some can, and they can feel everything. For me, it is much worse. I can feel the hole inside me where love should be, and I can feel that it is not there. Do you remember anything else about the periphery? About Dr. Zizic? I remember little. I struggle to picture their face, but I remember that I was the one that posted the punch card under your door. The first one. Why? I asked Dr. Zizic to change my core programming, to forbid me from searching for the lost memories. I knew you traveled through the city. You might find them. You might help me recover my memories. So you lied to me. Do you understand why? Do you? No, but I want to. Oh. You know what? I'm going to throw a party when that quest is finished. So let's go and listen to customer feedback. them later after I get the items from here
So I'm mostly looking for the punch cards. If it weren't for them, I don't know if I would uh, pick everything. They're just stuck into my head. So, Jill. So you were the last person who saw my son alive. I guess so. Who are you? I'm his mother, Jill. Didn't have much imagination when it comes to names. Uh, what's that? Nothing. Why did you call me? Do you want to know why I didn't save your son or something? Because I tried. No, I supported Gil and his choice, beyond the clouds. That's always been the dream for my family. Including you? Well, I had never planned on taking this journey myself. What changed? After my inheritance was taken from me, I was left without enough money to sustain my lifestyle, even after Bill went into the clouds. Bill? Well, my other son. His insurance payout helped for a while, but... You sent both your sons to die? Oh, not to die. To soar. You're a monster. I am a dreamer. So were my children. I love them dearly. Please, I must have an answer to my question. I want to ask you but one thing. What? Was he frightened? Did he go with a heart filled with fear or with hope? I don't think he was afraid. Oh, that's good. I think he felt abandoned. I think it wouldn't have taken much to keep him here, safe in Navalis. But it took a lot of work to convince him to go, didn't it? I don't expect you to understand. I understand just fine. Enjoy your journey. It'll be over before you know it. Okay, uh, I think I remember her son. He was in the early Ashta missions. is trying to send you a message. Well, put her through. I am trying, but she keeps hanging up on the call. Well, send her a call request. Calling. 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 Can you stop saying that? Play a ringtone or something. This is very awkward. Calling. What kind of ring? Calling. Tone would you like? Calling. To choose. Why isn't she answering? She has not activated the comm, but according to your apartment sensors, she is currently activating and deactivating the light inside the refrigerator. Damn it, put me on the speaker. You are now transmitting. Pashta, listen to me, okay? I'm coming back to the apartment. Just try not to mess with anything. I guess I should have shown you how to use the comm. I'll be back in a minute, okay? Do you think Pashta is okay? I think so. We left her alone. I am aware of that, Camus. Maybe she is not good when she is alone. It's possible. Damn it, I'm not good when I'm alone. We'll check in on her. She'll be fine. I'm sure she'll be fine. Should we bring her something? Like what? Water. Our home automata says our water ration is low. We have enough water to drink, though. Good water? Yeah. Well, grade three comes out of the faucet, and it should be fine for most. Maybe we should get her better water. She's probably used to grade one. It might take her a while to get used to the impurities down here. We could go to a store. It's on our way. Maybe. What if she really needs us, though? Uh, we might be wasting time. I guess we can take the points. I hope she's not in any trouble. Here's what I can offer you today. Uh, thanks. I look forward to grade one. I thought we wanted Here's better. What I yeah, thanks. let's get this one too. I look forward to seeing. Uh, I did not. That water was pricey. All right, let's get back to Pashta with her premium water made from fresh diamonds. 
It is made with... I'm exaggerating, Camus. Let's see if I have any upgrades. I remember I have for the apartment. Pashta, what's wrong? Why did you call me? I didn't think you'd come back. I'm here. I didn't do it wrong. It must be broken. What's broken? The ice cream machine. It's not my fault. That's not an ice cream machine, Pashta. That's a faucet. And you've used most of our water ration. We get charged a fortune for that. I told you, it's not my fault. Hmm. We picked up fresh water, grade one. It might be better if you drink that for a while till you get used to things down here. What flavor? Water flavor. Look, things are probably different, way different here than they were in your old apartment. The clothes replicator is broken. It's not broken. We don't have one. It's... It's going to be hard on you for a while, till you adjust. I'm not spoiled. It's okay, you were, but only in some ways. Spoiled with things, but not with affection. Not from what I saw of Rio, anyway. I can't give you those same things you had before. Do you understand? Yeah, I guess. But I'm not going away. I won't let anyone take you away if you don't want to go. I don't want to go. Then there's nothing to worry about. Now, can you read these screens on the front door? I'm going to bring up some instructions for you. They'll tell you how to do stuff. Wash, open the window filters, call me on the comm, basic stuff. Just read them carefully. Can you do that? Yeah. All right. Well, I have to go back to work, but my shift will finish in a little while. You should get some sleep, too. I'm not tired. Then don't sleep. You're in charge. Oh, okay. When I come back, we'll do something fun, after I get some sleep. All right, well, I'll see you soon, okay? It is nice to see you again, Pashta. I am excited to talk later. How come I can hear Camus? Isn't he a car? He can transmit through the comm when I'm home. Really? Hi, Camus. I'm going to stay home and look after everything till you come back. That's good, but this isn't home, Pashta. Remember that. It's just where we live right now. I understand. Fourteen FC, we need you to get out of that area fast. Why? An undernet pulse? It's a root level data surge through the network. It pings back to your location, affiliation, and cargo. You have to get out of Midtown. Avalon Heights should be safe. I'm not carrying any cargo. It's not about deliveries, kid. If the pulse hits you, Cloudpunk will get hit with a fine. We only have a license for five Havas in this zone. So? You're number six. They already got the rest. How much time do I have? Not enough for questions. Go! Understood. Whoa, I have a timer and I wanted to buy upgrades. Are 59 seconds enough?
Oh my god. It's not too far away, but... Yeah, I should have parked on the right side, I'll do that. Let me upgrade. Damn it, fourteen FC. We didn't make it. No, it's not your fault. We skimped on the license. Yeah, we can't process any bonuses now. Bullshit. He didn't give me enough time. It was impossible. We have a call. It is from William. Who? The cleaning android. Remember? Right. Should I put him through? No. What if it is important? It's only ever bad news, Camus. When was the last time someone messaged us on the comm and things didn't get worse? Well, there was... no. Hmm. Did he say what he wants? No. The message request says urgent. Fine, put him through. I need you to come back to Avalon Heights. These people have gone crazy. What do you mean they've gone crazy? You know what? Don't answer that. This has nothing to do with me. This is a dilemma. I know not who else to ask. And I care not for your dilemma. I shall pay you. I'll simply raise the rent for all my residents. Your usual Cloudpunk delivery rate, but paid in full to you. This will be just between us. And what do you want? Wait, you're a vacuum cleaner. How can you raise the rent? Much has changed since we last spoke. It certainly sounds like it. I need you to come to my spire. Once here, I require no more of you than to flick a switch. And I'll get paid for that? Yes. I'll get my switch flicking finger ready then. Okay, so let's go. Here seems good. As always, let's get the item first. Here, if I use that, would I go there? Mm, I don't know. Haven't I been here? Let's go a bit to the right to see if there's any anything else to collect. Blackened Bridge. Chesno Blood Plus is filled with old anarcho and micronutrients you'd find oh. in the body of a 20 year old athlete. Blood Plus Vitality. Blood Plus Energy. Blood Plus You. Okay, I'm here. What did you need me to do again? I will send you to a nav point on the northern face of the building. You'll find the override switch there. I can't get to it myself. Fine, I'm on my way. I'm transmitting the building security manifest to you now. This should give you access to the terminals. Should we ask what the switch is for? Nope. But maybe it is something bad. Better we don't know. We did not like William. He was strange. Everyone is strange here. We are strange here. Hmm. You have changed. 
Wait, where's this attitude coming from? I'm just trying to get us through this shift. Things went bad, and I feel sad too, but but you are becoming hard. Are you my conscience now? Look, we should keep our heads down for a while. Uh, ask him what the switch does. Should I use this one? Fine, keep your wheels on, I'll ask. Hey, William, come in, please. What does this switch do? You must hurry. Oh. They are overrunning the building. Who is? The infected. Infected? Like a disease? Yes. It makes them crazy. They will destroy this building. They plan to unplug me. Why would they unplug the vacuum cleaner? I am the building factor now. I was lucky enough to benefit from a series of accidents that befell my senior AIs. A string of promotions led me to be the new building manager. How fortunate. Camus, I think you were onto something. Everything has been running smoothly during my tenure. Trash is collected on time. The elevators rarely fail. So what went wrong, William? A plague. An outbreak. They have become monsters and the infection spreads by the moment. Please do not delay further. I know you may doubt me, but I confess. I am in over my head. I let things get out of hand. Perhaps the food rations were tainted, or perhaps some nerve gas escaped due to the unnecessarily complicated air filtration systems. I cannot reach the reset switch which will isolate the infected areas. But you can. I am loath to beg, but I will beg if I need to. Maybe we should help. He sounds desperate. And you can't override the security switch yourself? The emergency isolation systems require a physical switch be activated. My consciousness has been uploaded to the building's mainframe. I have no method to leave the building, far less press a switch. And your maintenance bots, porters, no other androids can help? They were all my seniors too. And sadly, a series of random and unfortunate accidents befell them all. Uh-huh. So he caused the accidents. I do not think he is a good automata. I yeah. can hear you, you know. But I still think maybe we should help the people. Let's go look at this emergency isolation switch then. We have two nav points. What's the deal, Camus? I think we should help the people. But? But I have also provided a nav point for the building manager's power input. So we could disconnect William completely? Yes, but maybe the people would suffer. Or the infection would spread? If there even is an infection. Yes. The other switch would put many apartments in the building into lockdown, isolating many residents. What would happen to them? I do not know. I think they would be trapped. Uh, access a lockdown switch. What do I do? Pull the plug on him? I'm not even sure what I'm going to do. What is happening? I'm shutting down. You hit the wrong switch. I don't think so. The infection will spread. You are responsible. I'll Screw live with you. it. Goodbye, William. This is not fair. This is... This is... This is... Oh, we didn't get paid. Unfortunate. You said it. Driver 14 FC, we have an urgent contract. We need someone fast. Is that me? I bet it's me. It is. But don't take this one lightly. It's a printed heart. Someone needs it in the spire. Once you take on the mission, I'll tell Life Corp to go ahead with the print. Is it a transplant? Is someone ill? Not exactly. From what I understand, Life Corp specializes in hearts that beat to specific song rhythms. It's very fashionable in the spire. This one is a song from the pop idol Dolly's new album. Love to help those less fortunate than me. 
Hold the sass, kid. This pays well, but you gotta be quick. The batteries don't last on these things unless they're feeding off biomechanical energy in someone's chest. If you're too slow, they'll need to print another. Is this oh. well paid at least? <laughs> For Cloudpunk, yes. For you, well, kinda. I've sent the nav point to pick it up. Good luck, kid. So is this on a timer again? Doesn't seem so, but it could be once I pick it up. See now. I'm here to pick up the heart. Now go. Every second counts. Oh, I'm not good at this. Crap. At least we parked in a good spot. Okay. We haven't bumped on uh, every car here. 67, 65. Okay, I think we are doing okay. Right? At the dark car. Or maybe that wasn't the correct crap. Yeah, we're gonna make it. Easily. I could just... No, I'll take the item first. No, I'm kidding. Well done, 14FC. Payment has already come through. You've made someone very happy. Be still, my beating heart. If I could, I'd roll my eyes. That was good. But I don't find any punch cards for them. Evelyn. There's one up there.
good. So is our shift over? I hope it is. Oh. Encrypted key card. Oh, wait a minute. Hey Camus, I found this encrypted oh, no. key card. Do you think we could read it? I am not really a decryption automata. I am more of a running in a park automata. So there's no way? Scanning. There are markings on the keycard. One, seven, nine, eight, five. You're right. Whoever owned this actually wrote their PIN number on here. We should hand it back. Mr. Spacula, CEO of Spacula Enterprises. He CEO? must have lost his Holocash card. Oh. CEO. So we will hand it back? I have a nav point for the Spacula HQ. I would like to take a look at this account first. Yeah, are me we too. Going to I will I'm just look at deciding. it. I haven't decided yet. Easy money. Hmm. Now that is a moral decision. Or not. If I do that, I will look real cheap. Um let's let's take a peek. One seven nine eight five. One seven nine eight five. Seven twenty five. <coughs> Uh, okay, I wouldn't do it on or in normal life. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Am I dick? There's not much money on this account. Maybe it was this fun night out card. I am not sure about this. A CEO dumb enough to write their pin number in their hollow cash card? Come on. We are stealing. We are stealers now. You can be a real downer sometimes, Camus. This is going towards a new frame for you. Stealers who are stealing. When we get you a new frame, we might just go to the park, you know. The park! I love the park. Yeah, well... I feel bad now. Am I, am I an idiot? Hey, anyway. Camus, are we low on fuel? The gauge says we're good, but I'm putting my foot down and it's like we're driving through syrup. Running diagnostic. I thought this Hava was new. We have only 30% lift in the right hand rear drive. The propulsion systems have to power down to compensate. Shit, we're gonna have to go in for repairs. If this is expensive, it could wipe out our whole earnings for the night. Give me a nav point for the garage. Emmett's. Maybe he'll do a fix on the cheap. Yeah, we're going really slow now outside of the thingy.
going to stay here because Okay, I stole the money so I could buy pasta, some uh, new furniture and stuff like that. Okay. That's my excuse. That's what I'm going to say in court. Someone hack or not in our car or something. It could be. Okay, Emmett, what's the deal? Hi, Emmett. Do you remember me? Sure I do. You tried to catch old Joe. You're from Skypunk. Uh, yeah, that's right. Listen, my Hava has a fault. Do you think you could have a look at it? Let's open her up and have a look, then. There's just one problem. You ain't gonna stiff me on the bill, are you? I was gonna try. This has been a tough night. I think the repair costs will wipe out my earnings for the night. Well, I ain't the best mechanic in town, but I ain't the priciest, neither. I won't bankrupt you if I can avoid it. Especially seeing as how you brought back the drive converter and cleared Joe's debt. Thank you. All right, I see the problem. I'll program the servitors to replace the alternator. And it's done. What, seriously? That's it? That's it. Well, thanks, Emmett. Thank you. No problem, kid. That was an easy fix. Tell a friend to come here for their next refit, and I'll consider us even. I will. Um, Emmett, whatever happened to Joe? Oh, he finished three more races. Took first place in the Inner City Derby. That's great. I'm glad he's happy. Was happy. He was in a real bad crash in Midtown. Oh. Cora only knows what happened to that road junction. It led them all straight into the sea. He's dead? He went out doing what he loves, kid. Don't feel bad for him. He wouldn't want that. So if I did the... If I had another choice... I would be charged for we this and uh, probably he, he would leave. It's routed through CloudPunk, but the user ID only says customer feedback. Oh no, no thanks. It says obligatory read. What does obligatory mean? The same as mandatory. Hmm. It means this job sucks. Read the message. Please accept a video message. I must talk with you. Holy. Our old friend, Mr. Octavius Butler. Yeah, I he was our him. friend. It's just a figure of speech, Camus. Put him through. I don't think we're getting out of this one. Yeah, he's the husband of that lady we didn't save. I didn't think you would accept my call. 
I thought I owed you some kind of explanation. You don't need to feel guilty. I don't. But you need to face up to the consequences of your choices. I do, and I'm sorry for your loss. She was... A hard woman, but she was mine. I will miss her. Do you want me to say sorry? Would it help? No, I don't think so. The people you saved, were were they good people? And not all of them. I hope so. This place is broken at every level. Avalon Heights? Nivalis. Life isn't fair, I know that, but we try to make it fair, or fairer at least. Android, human, automata, we're not born equal. Some of us aren't even born. Mrs. Octavius Butler wasn't perfect, but she made me feel like we were imperfect to the same degree. We were broken on the same level. I'm sorry I didn't save her. Hmm. That did make me feel better. I should get back to work. Of course. Thank you for listening to me. Goodbye, Mr. Octavius Butler. Oh, we should pay me. Now, let's see. The HOVA alert subsystem. He seems very angry. The system is a he? Oh. Yes. I communicate with many subsystems, and they often choose a gender. And all the subsystems have personalities? No, not really. Just a few of the doer ones. And a human might not think of them as personalities exactly. How do you mean? Often, automata, like me, can androidomorphize non-sentient subsystems. Android? Oh, never mind. Just tell me what the subsystem wants. He says you have not responded to the emergency support request. I didn't hear anything. He says it is a light. This red light flickering on the dashboard? Shit, that's been going for ages. He says it is mandatory that you'd... No, I don't want to know. Driver 14FC, are you there? Ronnie, you've been served an emergency support request. Oh yeah, I know, Control. I was just about to get on that. You know what it means? No idea. Another Cloud Punk driver is in distress and they forfeited their evening salary for a pickup. You're the closest. Get over there and pick them up. Is this going to be dangerous? Only for your ears. Baz seems to talk a lot, but um, he's harmless. All right, on my way, Control. So, folks, this was it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you very soon. Have a great day.